I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Fade in. Hello everyone. Welcome to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Uh, this is kicking off my broadcast of 24 hours of non-stop, slightly interrupted because I'm gonna have to stretch, eat, use the bathroom, etc. Gaming to benefit uh, Extra Life. Yay! Um, Extra Life charity. Helping kids by raising money for local hospitals to uh, help provide services for families that normally couldn't afford it. Awesome. Plug done. So, uh, this is my normal quote unquote KSP uh, <laughs> RP0 playthrough that I've been uh, posting episodes of on uh, YouTube, on my YouTube channel, uh, Cosmonaut Crash, for uh, several months now. And the series is going really well. I'm really happy with it so far, and I do plan to continue. Uh, the last episode of that, we launched a flyby mission of Saturn. Um, today, I think we're going to wait out these 19 days and try to go land on the moon. Uh, I'm going to go for a polar landing this time. So, there's that. I guess that's what we're going to do to kick this off. I've got some things that I want to build and some stuff that I want to do, and um, I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'll try my best to monitor the chat. I'm not that good at it. That's why I don't live stream very often. But, um, oh man, we're just going to be like 10 days short. When we get this astronaut complex upgrade, we can plant flags is something we haven't been able to do yet and I would really like to plant a flag now for my third moon landing alright what is this uh, oh yes our, our Saturn transfer point soft one which is our Saturn probe has left the sphere of influence of earth how cool is that alright so we'll continue our time warp yes we know what the hell what is going on with that? I guess we should probably check on that. Did something go horribly awry? Alright. Where are you, soft one? Oh! The other two were... <laughs> yeah. There was the, uh... The orbital stage, which is most of our transfer stage, and then the kick stage. And then the probe itself. Which, yeah, see? And we've got all this stuff flying around out there into the ethers. It looks like on that trajectory we could almost hit Uranus. Uranus. Okay. We're done goofing off in here, I suppose. All right, and back to our time warping so our Griffin A2 can finish up. Oh, no, stop. <laughs> we need to make a change to this because we have a new science experiment. I would be daft if I did not include the new science experiments. So this is going to take a long time. <laughs> uh, if you've watched any of my normal YouTube videos, I edit these screen transfers out because they literally take forever. All right, yes. <laughs> this is a gigantic rocket. It is my somewhat Saturn V clone science. Yes, the dynamic albedo of neutrons will only cost us 13,000 to unlock. Hey, hold on a second. The altimetry sensor, we have that, but we don't have the biometric scanner. Oh, and we've got solar particle collectors. Oh, dude. 
Undersized signals intelligence satellite. Ah, man. We're going to have to launch a new uh, mapping mission. Oh, I can't. Dang it. Yeah. Things take quite a while to snap into place because this has many, 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 many parts. Alright, and I guess we want to put this someplace close ish. Uh, nope. Rotate you that way. Do you have. How close to the ground do you have to be? I wonder if that'll work that far away. Systems check. Okay, no, nothing deploys or anything like that. So how much does it weigh? Zero, zero, one, nine ton. I think we can get away with just having the one. Although that does... Oh, man. <laughs> it took us from 19 days to 45 days. And look at the cost of this thing now. It's 110 grand. Yeah. Alright, well. Let's throw those back on. All of their staging should be fine. We're going to stage all those out manually, so I'm not overly concerned with it. The rest of this should be good. We just need to get the boosters out of the dirt. There we go. All right, save edits. So, now we're at 45 days, which uh, puts us well within the threshold to complete the astronaut complex so that we can plant a flag when we get there. I'm kind of happy about that. But, yeah, per all this, we now need to take it all the way back up. Yeah, in our building order. Now, see, even with this in the second tier assembly line is going to get done first. That's fine. That one is unedited. It will still have two broken thrusters and isn't named properly. But, you know, we'll have it. That's cool, right? Hmm. Alright, well, <laughs> I'm just letting the time fly by. It is throttling our time warp. Oh yeah, astronaut complex. Hooray! Uh, this is the first RP0 playthrough I've actually seen that upgraded. Ta-da! Doesn't that look nice? Fully upgraded. Also very cool. You know what? Let's check our contracts. Available. Oh, we're at six of seven. What do we have? Yeah, crude lunar landing. We got totally screwed out of that one. We landed on the moon. It just didn't give us credit for it. Human orbital. Probably going to end up failing. Oh, wow. We're going to take a huge hit for that. Must be in orbit for 20 hours. And that requires sacrificing a lot of our Hydrolox fuel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's not very promising, and I don't think we're going to complete 15 orbits. Um, I guess for right now, we'll... Maybe we'll take data from around the moon, so we'll be out that way anyway. Good enough. Alright, back to our time warps. Just 24 days. Okay, Griffin A2, let's roll it out. This will probably be the last flight for the A2 Griffin. 
Uh, we've unlocked some structural, like structural advancements. I think, yeah, this is our laundry list of things that we are researching, which is why I haven't bothered to spend any of that, like, 600 science. <laughs> and we're going to finish our backup for our uh, Jupiter orbital mission before we're going to finish rolling this out to the launch pad. <laughs> uh, lots of nice rockets in storage. That's cool, right? All right. Rolling out. Still three more days, and then we can actually do some things in space. Ready for space. Yay! Yeah, I totally couldn't help but notice that, like, the audio levels for live streaming versus recording on, uh, XSplit are way different. Alright. Oh, yeah, who are we gonna send? Uh, I guess Valentina. Is Alice went? Yegor went? She's our only pilot that hasn't been to the moon. Alright, Val. You're up. God, I hope this doesn't go poorly. I already killed Jeb. Well, hello there, Blake Fox. Thanks for stopping by. It takes obscenely long to roll large rockets out to the launch pad like this. So, no, the game hasn't frozen yet. It's just being lazy. Alright. <laughs> now we have to let it fuel. Which is fine. Because we also need to get our relative inclination set. Set as target. We're currently at 32 degrees. Come on, time warp menu, let's go. Oh good, it's falling, so this won't take very long. Alright. Oh, right on the money. We have to go now. All right. Come on, KSP. Throttle set the full SAS on. Ignition. Oh, F1s take so long to spool. There they are. Clamps off. Gonna bump the tower. Nudge. Oh, that's a big nudge. Whoa. Okay. Eek. Yeah, we're off course by a lot. And increasing. So. Alright, as soon as we got a little more speed under our belt, we'll try to adjust this, doing so now could be absolutely catastrophic. Stage SEP. Oh man, not again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're gonna lose the 
aerodynamic cone on the SEP tower. Well, I guess I could have uh, ditched the launch escape system a bit sooner to prevent it from <laughs> exploding. But whatever, we made it, and all five of our J2s in our second stage are lit. But for how long? No one can say. The center engine has this great habit of failing about 100% of the time. pitch back a bit. I'm getting a little too close to uh, Apogee. Don't particularly need this information right now. Uh, I did forget to lock my fuel tanks though. Yep. Ah, center engine once again. Always, always fails. Damn it. And this is a time when I kind of need that extra thrust, dude. I wonder why it's always that center engine. Val, you're going to be the only Kerbal not ever to screw this one up. We've done two other launches. They've gone fairly easily. But for some reason... We are gaining altitude. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Oh man, oh man. Alright, well I guess we'll just hold this angle for a long time until our apogee. Time to apogee goes up. I don't think we're going to be going nearly as fast as I'd hoped we'd be going. Right in between, yeah, about 27 degrees above horizon. And unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today's episode of Kerbal Space Program RP0. I do hope you will come back tomorrow for a continuation of this mission as it was uh, live streamed on Friday, November 4th. Until then, uh, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all later.